Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to a new video. My name is Prince Mason. Today, we're going to be talking about five softwares that I feel like you need to have as a photographer. No, you need that you should have. No, five softwares that I have as a photographer that are pretty important and have different things that they do. Not just softwares, softwares slash plugins for softwares. Let me put it that way that you you absolutely need to get now i just got a new imac and i was in the process or i was installing some softwares that were on my other pc to this and it's like you know let's talk about this video but before we talk about this video make sure you head over to my digital store check out my retouching essentials pack my skin tone lots for both dark skin and light skin tones and i have some freebies there free frequent separation action and an eyes and teeth widening action and you guys should just keep your eyes stuck to this page because i have some new outdoor lots that i'll be putting out soon and I also have some free outdoor lots that I'm putting out with that so just keep it locked in right so what is the first software that I would advise anybody that's doing photography to buy what's the first one I would say go out and get the first one is Photoshop now a lot of people will say Lightroom but Photoshop because with Photoshop you can do almost anything and everything you can do almost everything that you can do in Lightroom apart from the whole file management and if you have Adobe Bridge which was what we were using before you can literally do everything with photoshop so photoshop you can do all your retouching your color grading your raw processing with the photoshop um, adobe camera raw plugin that comes in photoshop so you can literally do almost anything and everything in photoshop you have your actions which are like presets you can use lots in photoshop just it's just uh there's just so many things you can do with photoshop so photoshop is the first software that i recommend that you go out there and get now after photoshop was the next one i would say lightroom now the reason why i'm saying lightroom over capture one is if you go for the photography bundle with adobe it comes with photoshop and lightroom so it's just easier for you to just go that route but um another reason is because lightroom is why like more used than capture one a lot of people use lightroom instead of capture one and there's just like a lot of free presets out there there are a lot of paid presets out there way more than capture one and i would say lightroom is pretty easy to use it's a bit easier to use than capture one um because if you already use Photoshop then and use Camera Raw, then you figure out your way around Lightroom. Uh, I'm not saying it's the easiest to use because, you know, Capture One is getting there. But if you just open Capture One, it's sometimes it just looks like there's so much to take in. I, I feel, maybe I feel that way because I was a Lightroom user, but I don't know. That's just, that's just what I think. So yeah, the first one is Photoshop. The next one I'll recommend is Lightroom if you're just starting up. But if you're a photographer, you've been doing this for a while, then we're going to move to number three, which is Capture One. Capture One is uh, the software that I feel like every portrait, portrait photographer should use. So if you're doing a lot of portraits, maybe still life photography, you're doing a lot of tethering, then Capture One should be your major raw processing software and raw capturing software. Capture One is just amazing. It is my go-to software when it comes to, you know, processing my raw files. The skin tones out of Capture One are great, way better than Lightroom. I'm going to sit on that. And this is my preference. If you have a problem with that, stick to whatever you're using. But Capture One is amazing. Now, when it comes to portrait photography, I think I'll put it over Yes, I'll definitely put it over Lightroom. Or like I said, Lightroom is more like used widely. It is just they just presets widely available for Lightroom over um, Capture One. So Capture One styles, I really use Capture One styles. I really make Capture One styles. For me, Capture One is just that raw processing software. Then I love when I use it to tether. It is amazing for that too. So yeah, if you are looking at Capture One, definitely get it definitely get like i personally i am thinking about going back to use lightroom not because capture one is not doing an amazing job but when it comes to color grading for some reason i just prefer lightroom to capture one but i know you can color grade in capture one and color grading in capture one is amazing but maybe i just haven't gotten to that point where i am loving color grading in capture one i just do my color grading in photoshop and i am thinking about creating some presets in lightroom too but we'll see number four is photo mechanic now photo mechanic is an amazing software when it comes to um curling do you know what curling is when you go through so many files and pick the ones that you like raw files is just so easy to use for the mechanic and the reason is because your raw files are not loading constantly unlike lightroom 
and capture one where it's not at it's not that fast but i'm just saying if you use photo mechanic i'll probably show an example on the screen right now and you are loading a lot of raw files it's just so snappy so quick easy to call through your images so if you are like a wedding photographer or you are a product photographer or you are a portrait photographer and you shoot like a lot of pictures you shoot in volumes and you just don't want to put everything on your hard drive you just want the ones that are best or the ones that fit whatever you're doing best you just want to crawl those ones and use those particular images then definitely get photo mechanic it is so easy to use especially if you're a wedding photographer you're going through 3,000 pictures 4,000 pictures 5,000 pictures i know some wedding photographers that shoot 20,000 pictures yes i do those ones that shoot with the boss thing they're just going to be i don't know why that shit like that but yeah if you're that type of photographer and you shoot and you shoot 20,000 images for one wedding definitely get photo mechanic i just cannot praise the software enough now it just doesn't look as nice as other softwares and sometimes it's just i don't know but it, it's really nice trust me it's, it's almost like a newer and a faster version of adobe bridge when it comes to curling your images now the final one that i will talk about and this is not photography related if you oh no 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 hold on let's talk about another photography software and it's kind of like a plug-in to for photoshop now i have not really used it and i am not recommending it 100 percent but it is lumina 4. now there are a lot of good things that have been said about this particular software and i feel like it's something that you should look at maybe just download the um, free version and try it out especially the plugin for photoshop now because i use photoshop and i don't see myself leaving photoshop anytime soon I am going to be using Lumina 4 as a plugin for Photoshop to just see what it does, you know, the whole AI thing, sky replacements, all the stuff is really amazing that you can do that. So I'm definitely going to check those things out and I'll let you guys know how it goes. So Lumina 4 is definitely one of those softwares that you should keep your eyes on and definitely check out if you are looking for, I think it's just like a cheaper version of Photoshop and Lightroom and Capture One and everything put together in one place. I think you can do like your raw processing and all that. But if I'm saying rubbish, just let me know in the comment section. But I'm pretty sure I know what I'm saying about Lumina 4. Now, the final ones that I'll talk about is Final Cut. Wow, the final one I'll talk about is Final Cut. Final Cut and Premiere Pro. Now, if you're a photographer, for the most part, you are using a camera right now that can shoot videos right now because almost every camera is a hybrid camera. So you are going to be um, probably learning videos very soon or you already shoot videos. So you probably need one of these softwares. I use a Mac, so Final Cut all the way. Now, I was a Premiere Pro stand and I never wanted to touch Final Cut. I was like, Final Cut is for babies, it's this, it's that, it's that. If you are one of those people, you need to try Final Cut. It is just easy to use and it's way faster on the Mac, unlike Premiere Pro. I know Premiere Pro is like catching up right now when it comes to being fast on the Mac, especially if you have the new Macs, but Final Cut is still king. Like even with a very old Mac, you can still edit 4K files and edit it pretty good, you know? So if you use a Mac, then definitely check out Final Cut. But if you use a PC and you are already into the whole Adobe um, system, yeah, it's to the whole Adobe, what do you call it? There's, no, it's not collection. There is a word that they use, the Adobe ecosystem, ecosystem. Yeah, if you are already bought into the, or if you've already bought into the Adobe ecosystem, then definitely try it. Premiere Pro. I still use Premiere Pro once in a blue, blue moon. Like the moon has to be really blue, like thick blue. Okay, I'm going to stop. But Premiere Pro or Final Cut so that you can make videos because right now almost everybody is a hybrid shooter. So that's about it. I don't use any other external plugins basically for my retouching. It is just Photoshop and Capture One. Like I said, I'm trying to bring Lightroom back into that, especially for my outdoor images and color grading and creating presets and all that stuff just to try it out then also i use final cut for my video editing then for curling for the most part if i have a lot of images it's photo mechanic and yeah that's about it anyways thank you so much for watching today's video like i said check out my digital store support this channel by buying something from us and i also said in the beginning of this video that we have some amazing lots coming out and also some free stuff coming out so definitely check out the next videos that we're we'll putting out anyways i'll see you guys in the next video give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it also comment below let me know what you think let me know the softwares or the plugins that you use that um i didn't mention in this video and maybe i'll take a look at them and if i love them i'll talk about them in the next one i'll see you guys in the next video have an amazing amazing week